Welcome to another VATSIM tutorial video. Today I'm going to help you push your immersion in the VATSIM network to the max. In my previous videos, I helped you get set up on VATSIM and start talking to ATC while flying some very basic flights. Today we are going to learn another way to get the most out of the VATSIM network. Become part of an immersive world where you can see other pilots flying their aircraft in real time. When you first join VATSIM and log on to the network, your scene is probably going to look like this. You'll see other airplanes out there, but they will just be generic airplanes from your simulator. Even though this pilot logged in as a Scandinavian 737, you just see a generic white and green twin jet model. In order to see a more realistic representation of other airplanes on the VATSIM network, we are going to review how to install airplane models with real-world paint jobs, and how to configure model matching in your client to use those models. And when we're done, your sim will go from this to this. In order to see realistic models when you're flying on the VATSIM network, there are two big steps you're going to have to follow. The first is, of course, to install some AI models into your simulator, and the second is to configure your pilot client to use these models. Before I go into these steps, I'm going to talk a little bit about the background of how AI models came to be. If you want to go directly to the steps, just use the slider below to skip ahead. AI traffic is other airplanes operating in your simulator. In previous iterations of Flight Simulator, the only other traffic that would appear in your simulator was pre-programmed by a computer. These models followed scripted routes that taxied to a runway, took off, flew around, and came back and landed and taxied to a gate. Because of the randomness of these scripted routes, these appeared to be artificially intelligent aircraft, but really they were just scripts running airplane models around your simulator. However, the name Artificial Intelligence Traffic, or AI Traffic, stuck at that point. In the VATSIM world, AI traffic has a little bit of a different connotation. In VATSIM, AI traffic refers to the models used by a user's VATSIM client to show other VATSIM airplanes in a user's simulator. Since the same models are used for displaying VATSIM traffic as were used for these original scripted AI traffic models, the name AI traffic continues to be used when referring to these models that show other people's airplanes in your simulator. So how does AI traffic work within VATSIM? Before I describe the setup process, it helps to understand a little bit more about how AI traffic works within VATSIM. The actual information VATSIM sends out to your simulator is very minimal. Based on your position, VATSIM sends information about traffic that is within range. That is traffic usually within about 100 miles of your position. No need to waste computer processing power or bandwidth on traffic information for traffic you'll never see. For each of these aircraft that you will see, VATSIM sends the aircraft call sign, position, and orientation. That is latitude, longitude, altitude, pitch, roll, heading, as well as speed. This information is sent to your client, and your client in turn interfaces with your simulator and tells the simulator what to draw and where. As a quick little aside, prior to February 2022, VATSIM used to only send a position update for an aircraft once every five seconds. In between, your client would use the speed of the aircraft to estimate where the aircraft was in between those five second updates, and would change the aircraft position in the sim continuously in between the updates from the network. However, this resulted in a very clunky movement whenever an airplane was changing direction or altitude quickly, such as during takeoff, landing, or even while taxiing on the ground. This slow update rate was due to the fact that the original purpose of VATSIM was to link pilots and controllers together, and not necessarily pilots. Most radar scopes only update once every 3-6 to six seconds, so 5 second updates were perfectly realistic for the radar controllers. Additionally, when VATSIM was founded back in 2001, high speed internet was much less common than it is today, and servers were much less powerful. Keeping the updates to once every 5 seconds ensured that even slower connections could use VATSIM and the workload on the network servers at that time was kept manageable. To put it in perspective, when VATSIM was founded, Flight Sim 2000 was the newest flight simulator. That gives you an idea of how long ago the original standard was established. Now, effective in February of 2022, VATSIM has finally updated their standards under the title VATSIM Velocity. Under Velocity, updates have now switched to 5 updates every single second, which is enough to smoothly see even the subtlest movements of an aircraft. No more clunky takeoffs and landings for you in the simulator. So let's get some AI models installed into your system. 
There are many models that you can download from around the internet, but in order to get to the diversity most simmers are looking for when they fly online, you should install a package that contains a whole group of models and liveries. One of the best packages out there for Microsoft Flight Simulator is from the Alpha India Group, or AI Group. AI Group is a group of creators who have made dozens of models and hundreds of paint jobs. They have been doing this for many years for many previous simulators and are experienced at creating detailed models and painting them. Best of all, they are still a very active group and are constantly adding new models and paint schemes to keep their packages up to date. At first, AIG's setup process seems a bit complex, but I'll break it down into some very basic tasks for you. It will also take some time. Don't plan on going flying for an hour or two, depending on how much you want to download in one go. The first step is to install Alpha India Group's AI Manager program. Visit the website www.alpha-india.net. See the link below. You'll need the AI Manager and Traffic Controller software as well. Traffic Controller is a special program that helps generate non-VATSIM AI traffic in FlightSim 2020. Even though we only plan on using our traffic for VATSIM, the AI Manager requires the Traffic Controller program to function, so be sure to download and install both of them. Once you have the programs installed, run the AI Manager. When AI Manager starts, first select your SIM, MSFS in this case. Once it starts running, the first thing AI Manager does is scan your entire Flight Simulator content folders to see what objects and AI traffic packages you already have installed. This takes a long time. Come back in 10 or 15 minutes. Once the scanning is complete, you end up with the AI Manager main window. There are a bunch of buttons along the left side for the main sections of the program, and within each section there are tabs across the top. The first thing you need to do is go to Settings and select Cookies. The AI Manager visits the AIG forum to retrieve information about the available packages, and most of the packages are stored on AFSIM. You will need login credentials for both of these sites so that AI Manager can log in on your behalf. So if you haven't registered for these sites, go register, and then save your username and password in the AI Manager. Once this information is specified, we can now start picking models we want to see in our sim. Click the Flight Plan section and then the Online tab. This is a list of all the airlines available online currently. AI Manager lets us pick and choose the airlines we want to see in our sim, so we can download them all or save time and space by only picking the airlines we expect to see as we fly. The key here is that AIG groups models by airlines. And again, this goes back to AIG's original purpose, which was to input AI traffic on realistic artificial flight plans into our simulator. This system wasn't designed for VATSIM model matching, but it works really well with VATSIM. For us as VATSIM users, we just need to pick the airlines we think we're going to see in the places we fly. You can hit the download button for each airline, but you'll have to wait for each download and install to complete before you can hit another one. Instead, the easier way is to do a bulk install. Hold down control and select as many airlines as you want in one go. You'll also see a whole array of corporate paint schemes here. You can again select them all, but probably just a few corporate paint schemes will be enough to populate a random assortment of business jets in your simulator next to the airliners. Note that once you have some packages installed, these will not show up in the online tab anymore. Instead, they'll appear under the installed tab, as we'll see later. Once you have all the airlines you want selected, click the OCI bulk button at the bottom of the screen to bulk install all of your selected liveries. This should download and install all the packages you selected automatically without much further input. If you, if you selected lots of airlines, this may take a long time, possibly an hour or two or even more depending on your internet speed and of course the speed and congestion on the servers. But once it's all done, this is going to look really good. And one final word of warning, while most of these packages can be installed automatically without any input, occasionally the bulk installer comes upon a package that it can't download and install automatically. When this happens, it will alert you with a message on the screen. Follow the instructions on the screen and you'll be able to manually download the package and still install it into the AI Manager. This happens for a very small percentage of the airlines, but don't walk away for two hours without coming back every few minutes to just check and make sure it's not waiting for some input from you. Once the download process completes, you'll see all your new airlines under the Installed tab. You can always come back and add more later from the online tab if you find anything that you've missed. There's one last step just to make sure you have everything installed correctly. Under Settings, click the last tab, AIG AIM One Click Installer, and click the Verify Setup button at the bottom. This will rescan all of your installed files to find any possible errors that may have cropped up during the installation process and could correct anything that may have gone off the rails. 
Now if we go to our community folder, you will see a wide array of AIG folders indicating that your traffic models are successfully installed. The process of taking information about nearby VATSIM airplanes and assigning them a specific model within our SIM is called model matching. How well the SIM uses all these beautiful models we just downloaded depends on how well we configure our model matching. In essence, model matching is just a simple set of rules. Our client will go through the list of rules in order to try and find a match for a specific airplane. The information model matching uses is very limited. It relies on the airline code and aircraft type code of the user. This is why it's essential for all pilots to accurately specify their airline code and aircraft code when they log on. Users must use the ICAO airline codes for their airline and ICAO aircraft type codes. For example, if you are flying a Boeing 747-400, don't write Boeing 747-400 in the aircraft type field when you log on to VATSIM. Instead, use the four-letter ICAO identifier B744. Likewise, for airlines, you must use the ICAO three-letter identifier airline code, not the two-letter IATA codes. For example, for American Airlines, your call sign must be AAL123, not AA123. If you are uncertain about the official type code for your aircraft or the official code for your airline, you can easily search the internet. However, I will also provide a link to the official type designator documents in the video description. Your pilot client will take the airline code and type code for nearby aircraft and compare it with its model matching rules until it finds the best match. The first time it will look for an exact match. In this case, it's going to look for a Boeing 737-800 with Delta Airlines paint. If it can't find a perfect match, it's going to look for a similar type with the same paint job, such as a Boeing 737-900 or perhaps even a smaller aircraft like an A320 with Delta colors. If it still can't find a match, it's going to look for different types with the same color scheme like a 747 in Delta colors. And at the end of the day, if it can't find anything with even a similar match, it's just going to assign a generic model to be used for this aircraft. Our biggest issue is ensuring that the rules describe all of the models that we just installed into the sim. One big problem is that there is no universal convention for naming models. There's just an empty text field that the developer can put whatever they feel is appropriate. So we need some help in detecting what type of aircraft each airplane model in our sim represents. The software that I use, and I very highly recommend it, is called Model Matching Magic. You can find it on flightsim.to or just Google it. Once you have Model Matching Magic downloaded and installed, run the program. Model Matching Magic should detect your simulator's community folder, but if it doesn't, set it on the main tab and then hit Scan. Model Matching Magic now scans your sim's folders for aircraft models and adds them to its list. The real beauty of Model Matching Magic is the built-in airline and aircraft type matching system. Using a set of preset regular expressions, which are very simple matching rules, the program looks for common descriptions and assigns airlines and type codes if it finds a match. Best of all, the program then shows the results and gives you a chance to edit them in case something doesn't match up. If a match could not be made or was made incorrectly, you can manually update the airline or type code field so that anything that is missed in the automatic process can be fixed manually. You'll also notice an exclude column. Model Matching Magic will automatically exclude any models that it can't figure out on its own, but you can uncheck the exclude box if you manually specify some results, or even override and exclude models that you maybe don't like, or maybe a model that you know is broken or incomplete somehow. And best of all, Model Matching Magic will remember your customized changes between runs. So the next time you run this and scan your sim, the customized changes you made before will be recalled and automatically inserted in the scan results. Note the lines turn red when you make a change. This indicates this model will no longer follow the automatic rules, but it will instead keep reloading your customized data each time you run a scan. Another powerful aspect of model matching magic is that you can change or even add new matching rules to make future scans faster. Just go to the aircraft types tab to see the rules that are already included and change them or add your own for new aircraft types. If you installed lots of models, it can be a bit tedious to get all of these models identified properly and tweaked just the way you like them. But keep in mind that your changes are saved for future runs, so you'll only need to identify each model once. Alternatively, you can try tweaking the scanning rules to capture as many of your aircraft as possible so you don't need to make manual updates in the first place. Once you're happy with the results of your scan, click Generate VMR File and save the file on your computer. 
This file contains all the actual model matching rules written so vPilot, your pilot client, will understand them. You can regenerate this file as many times as you like because each time vPilot loads, it rereads the file. So if you download new models or updates, be sure and rerun the scan to identify all the new models. The last and final step is to load this VMR file into your client. Run vPilot, open settings, and then look under model matching MSFS custom rules. You can add multiple different custom rule sets if you wish, and vPilot will read them in order. For us, just load the VMR file you just created. And now, voila! Whenever you connect to the network, you will see all the beautiful models instead of generic white and green twin jets. As a last bit of advice, there is a great way to troubleshoot airplanes that are not showing up correctly in vPilot. In the vPilot window, type .aircraft, and a window will open listing all the aircraft that are being tracked by vPilot and which model vPilot is using for them. Using this window, you can identify which model is being used and what rules were used to select it. If you have models that have problems, you can identify them and change them in model matching magic, create a new VMR file, and hit reload matching rules. You can see changes in real time this way while still connected to the network. Really handy for helping troubleshoot why a particular aircraft is not showing the model you think it should. So now you have set up AI models and model matching in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yes, it's quite a bit of effort, but once you've done it, you can pretty much set it and forget it. So a little time invested now will add up to an immersive experience for months and years to come while flying on Vatsyn.